<laughs> so, so why are we filming this on Thursday night when I normally have a vlog out on Wednesday? Why are we doing that? I don't know the question. Why are we doing the question is because I'm way behind. I've got so much work to do, and we're going to Ohio. We're taking care of my mom's house, and, and I just got—I'm a busy, busy person. People. <laughs> so busy. <You're> so busy. <laughs> Parker Peeps, welcome to the vlog. Hi Peeps. <laughs> maniac. The yeah, world like, is okay. full of maniacs. <laughs> the hopeful world was full of maniacs this week. And we've got some really interesting stuff. Do you know what it means to play against a maniac? Do you know what a maniac is? No. Okay, take a guess at what a maniac might be. It's a crazy person. Yes, and what in the poker world, what that might that be? They probably just play all willy-nilly. They do, and they play any two hands, and it doesn't matter, and they raise like crazy, and they could have two seven, or they could have pocket aces, and they're, that's a maniac. So this week, the whole video is about playing against a maniac. Or a willy-nilly. Or a willy-nilly. So given that you just learned what a maniac is, do you think it would be good or bad to play against a maniac? Boarding is complete. Flight attendants secure the cabin for departure. Figure out what they're going to do. That's yeah, true. But they also put money in when they have two seven. <laughs> 22. So I go up to Windstar on Saturday night. I'm keeping with my theme of playing a little bit smaller. I went and played in a 1-3 game, bought in for 300, which is the maximum in that game. There's one guy at the table who had quite a lot of chips. I think like 1,500 when I started the game. His name was Marcus. Uh, Marcus was quite the aggressive player. So about one orbit into me playing, Marcus wins a pretty good hand, and I was not in the hand, and he says something like, man, I should start a poker vlog with that hand. So I say, hey, I have a vlog, you gotta watch mine. He said, I do. And that's why he said it, is to say, hey, Mr. Billy Watchers, and it turned out, it was really interesting. I had a table where, of the nine guys there, I think four or five watched my vlog. Uh, there's another guy named Brian, who we're gonna hear from here in a minute, uh, who had emailed me, nice uh, guy about my age, and uh, watches it, and a couple other guys. So it was pretty cool for me. So I started off on the table relatively well. I was under the gun with King of Spades, Queen of Spades with $250. I had lost a few hands. Uh, I made it 12. The cut off the button and the small blind all called. Uh, on the flop with $51 in the pot, it comes King of Clubs, Nine of Diamonds, Seven of Diamonds. It checks to me. I make it 25 and only the small blind calls. The turn, 101 in the pot, is the Ace of Hearts. Uh, I continue for 40 and he makes the call. Not really loving the ace too much. The river though, with 181 in the pot, king of hearts, giving me trip kings. Uh, he bets into me for 65 and has 180 back. I tank, I think about it. I finally say to the table, I know I'm supposed to raise here, but I call. He ended up having a lesser king than me, king 10. Uh, man, I know that I should raise there and I didn't pull the trigger. Ugh. Gosh darn it, I didn't get full value for my trip kings. So I'm under the gun, I have queen 10 of hearts. Uh, I raise to $12, guy next to me calls, uh, comes to Marcus, he's on the button, and as per usual, he doesn't raise to 30 or 40 or 35. He raises to 72. He was doing it constantly. 72, 62, 82, 55, no normal bets. Everything was big, of course he had a lot of money. Uh, comes back to me, and I fold, and the guy next to me calls. Bottom line, it was like a jack seven four flop, uh, an eight turn, Marcus is betting every street, and then a second seven on the river. And Marcus goes all in for like $400 uh, against the other guy's effective stack. And the other guy folds, and Marcus <laughs> shows seven deuce. 
and he said, I wanted to win a big one for Mr. Bill after he raised, so I decided I'd play a pot. <laughs> That was Marcus. This is important for later on. That was Marcus. By the way, I thought Marcus was a fantastic player. If you're going to play that loose aggressive style, man, he did it to almost perfection. Of course, he was running like the sun, which doesn't hurt, but he, he played it very, very well. I think he was a very good player. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not so good to play against the Maniac. I rather enjoy it. It makes for a really, really fun and exciting game normally. It's way better than sitting down with a bunch of guys who are regs, who are just nitty rocks. That's no fun at all. So at least with the Maniacs, you may be, it's more dangerous. Of course, it can be more uh, lucrative too. So how do you deal with players like that? I think you trap. There was a straddle for six. I'm under the gun with pocket queens. I have $350 and I limp in. The plus one next to me, the guy who also played against Marcus a lot, made it 17. The MP1 calls, the hijack calls, and Marcus raises it up to $117 just as I had hoped. Uh, next guy, couple of next guys fold. I go all in for 350. The guy next to me, tank, calls the 350 comes around to marcus he says i can't fold this hand and he calls the plus one has pocket jacks i have pocket queens and marcus says he can't fold because he has pocket kings unbelievable i did exactly what i wanted to do i got exactly what i wanted and it happened to be the time he wakes up with a monster by the way, I only had $350, but the plus one next to me that shoved all in had like $850. And Marcus covered everybody. He had well over $2,200 by that time. And the board ran out 23642. Unbelievable. So I lost my stack. Marcus hit like a $1,900 pot in a 1 3 game. Holy cow. What happened to Dickie? <laughs> She used to be on the plane to Dallas with me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She Good moved morning, away from me. She didn't even want to sit by me. Can you believe that? Small handheld electronic devices. Maybe used in the airplane mode. Flight attendants, armed doors. All right, I reloaded after getting stacked off by Marcus the Maniac. And now I'm going to play a hand against a guy named Brian. Brian is about my age, Asian guy. Uh, he's a vlog watcher. In fact, he had sent me an email and just to tell me how much he enjoyed what I do and how much I appreciate it. And, you know, I really appreciate guys that do that to take their time out of their day to write me a nice note. That's really, really great. All right, I'm in the under the gun plus one with nine ten of hearts. I make it $12. Guy behind me calls. Brian then raises it up to 30. The guy behind him calls folds around to me, I call, and the guy behind me folds. So the flop with 118 in the pot comes about as good as it could possibly come for me. Eight of clubs, nine of spades, 10 of diamonds. So I flop top two. I check it to Brian, he bets 60. The guy behind him calls. Now there's lot 250 in the pot and I don't have very much money so I shove it all in there for 260 comes around to Brian and he tanks for a long, long time. Eventually makes the call. The other guy makes the fold. So what could Brian be calling here with? Obviously he was the pre-flop raiser and he had been playing relatively tight. So he could have an overpair, he could have a set. Uh, he, I don't think he ever has Jack Queen here. He could have a combo draw. Uh, so I don't like it if a card to the straight comes. And the board comes, ace of hearts, Queen of Spades, boy, I hate the Queen. That's an awful, awful card. So I turn over my top two, and Brian turns over. Pocket, aces, he hit a set on the turn. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's not going good for Mr. Bill. Brian, thank you for watching my vlog, but I didn't like that play. <laughs> And honestly, I'm not so sure that was the right play from Brian. <laughs> um, you know, if I have a straight already, he's absolutely crushed and probably can't even win. If I have a set, he's in big, big trouble and needed an ace. Uh, if he thinks I have a two pair or a combo draw, then it's okay. But man, I got lots of other things in my range. But that is cards, that is poker, that's the way it goes. I always say, hey, if guy buys in and puts his money on the table, he can play him any way he wants to. 
So my buddy Stone from Wednesday Night Poker uh, League had been playing at Windstar. He stacked off on a 2-5 table almost immediately where he just, he got cooler. He couldn't do anything about it. Wasn't doing very well. So he decided to join our table too. So Stone comes over to the table next. So I'm back into the gun with pocket queens again. I decide I'm going to try and trap Marcus again. So I limp. This time there's five callers. Nobody raises. Ugh. So the flop with 18 of the pot comes, 10 of spades, 6 of spades, 7 of diamonds. It checks to Marcus uh, in the cutoff. He makes it 15. The big blind calls. I call. The plus one calls. Stone in the hijack then bumps it up to 75. Cut, checks around back to me. I go all in for 260. Stone kind of tanks and makes the call. Stone has king of spades, seven of spades. I'm going to show you the equity that each of us have after the flop. He didn't show me his cards. Uh, he showed me after the hand was over. But the turn came down and the river came a queen. I thought that I absolutely sucked out. Turns out I was ahead of the king seven of spades and, and never really was in threat. Although he had plenty of equity. So in this next hand, I'm in the middle position too with ace of clubs, queen of clubs. I have $600 now. Uh, there's a limper, MP1 limps. I limp. The hijack makes it 20. Small blind stone and big blind Marcus both call. Uh, the MP1 calls and I call. So the flop with 103 in the pot comes about as good as I could hope. Ace of spades, nine of spades, queen of diamonds. I flop top two. And I'm extremely under repped. It checks to the hijack who makes it 50, uh, it folds around to me, I raise it up to 115 and the hijack makes the call. The turn with 333 in the pot is the eight of diamonds, wow that's a draw heavy board. I decided hopefully he doesn't have 10 jack and I uh, go all in for 465 which was his effective. He tanks probably for two minutes, maybe more and he finally folds, ugh I wish I hadn't gone all in now, he folded ace eight for two pair also oh my gosh i could have gotten so much more value had i bet 200. of course i didn't know that and i was trying to make him pay if he was going to pay for a big draw like a combo draw or something like that so it is what it is I, at least i won the hand and i was getting now closer to even i was in for a thousand i think i had like 880 now okay we got down to five handed uh table's gonna break it's just at two o'clock in the morning and we decided we'd play one more round so we did second in the last hand I get king of diamonds queen of diamonds under the gun but we're only five-handed I made it like 14 uh, guy next to me calls stone then raised it up to I can't remember 40 or 50 comes back to me I called and the guy next to me shoves all in for 192 stone makes the call man I'm getting such great numbers here and I don't really want to lose 192 because I'm not down very much and I could just walk away but I'm getting too good a price for King Queen of Diamonds so I make the call also. And the board is a complete swing and a miss whiff for Mr. Bill. In fact I think an ace flopped with like 7-4 and the other guy was already all in. Stone made a bet. I have to fold and I can't even remember who won the pot. I think Stone did. Good for him. So the bottom line was started off absolutely horrible, uh, down about $800 and worked my way back up, almost got to even, ended up losing a few hands at the end, especially that big one, and ended up losing $340, um, which is, that's ah, okay, it's no big deal. You have to answer this question with the first thing that comes to your mind, no thinking, all right, ready? Ready? Yeah. Do you watch the Mr. Bill Poker vlog? Sometimes. Yeah, not very often. <laughs> Wednesday Night Poker League, first tournament of the month, April. I am leading the World Series Poker, second hand oh of the tournament. God. I <laughs> double no, up. Shit. So I started with pretty much 20,000 chips because I played a fantastic King 4 and stacked the guy off. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. So we're down on level 3 now. I had doubled up, well not doubled up, I had about 18,000 chips. I'm down to 13,000. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I'm hoping that at break, I'll be at least at, at starting stack.
First break, I am the best. I, I went to 18,000, I am down to 12,100. I said I was gonna be at least the starting stack of break, and I am, beast mode, gonna be final table. I'm gonna win it tonight, that's all there is to it. I got no call, but there's no call. Sounds like ice. Yeah, <laughs> I got one move. No, that was how much? Uh, what, oh, you got the big stack. No, 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 not for the big stack. Wow, I didn't film it. I should have. Uh, Dane shoved in under the gun with only six players. Uh, I had pocket nines. I shoved. Jason had a very, very short stack, so he shoved. Dane had ace nine. I had pocket nines. Jason had ten king of or queen ten of clubs. Flopped a ten. I hit the case nine on the turn and knocked out both players. Woohoo! Final table on nine. Nine of the best. Or whatever. <laughs> Alright, good luck, boys. Here we go. Level nine, eleven. Lines are two thousand, four thousand. First hand of the final table. <laughs> Under the gun. Alright, I'm down to small blinds. Uh, Can't play this dude. All of it. All of it. Mm -mm. Seventeen. No. I got it through. Come on. I thought you, if you have your ace queen, I would love to have you had your ace queen that time. 3,000, 6,000, I have 35,000 chips, but it's all, everybody's short right now. Carl calls, Wayne calls, and I am going to check my option. Here we go. Nine, three, two. I'll check. Four. I check. Come on. Call with ace five or five six. <laughs> if you don't have ace five or five six, you should fold. Jeez, blinds are not four and eight. Level eleven. I have fifty three thousand chips right now. Table one, seven players. Ryan, three, three, three. He's got the camera in the bedroom. Mm. Mm. Queen and a king of queens. <laughs> three, five. That's it. Chop it up. Chop it up. Chop, chop, chop. Murph, what are you doing shoving with that? What do you call him? With okay, that? well, that's true. <laughs> Five players left. I have 39,000. I'm under the gun. He's a gunner. And you cannot play that hand under the gun. All right, we'll do it this way 27. 27. 27. Do we have a third? Do I have a king 10? Would you believe if I have a king 10? No. I have eight. King nine. All right. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. So Stone's got pocket eight. I have king nine. <laughs> Face cards, baby. Face cards. Face cards. Uh oh. Face card. Oh, Stone got me. I came in fifth. Good hand, bud. Thanks. As you guys just saw, I came in fifth, got knocked out by Stone, King Nine against Pocket Eights. I was actually very, very happy to come in fifth tonight. I was pretty much, other than that first hand where I doubled up on second hand, I pretty much was, I didn't do really too much tonight, and I never had a whole lot of chips. Um, well, especially final table, I just didn't get very much. So I was actually pretty happy to be coming fifth. I got more points in the WSOP. I'm already guaranteed a $1,000 seat, and I've taken a bigger lead for first place. And I had a winning week between uh, Wednesday Poker League and Winstar. Uh, I may even get to play one more time this week. We're going to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog about playing against Maniacs. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know how you play against a Maniac. Is there something that you do differently than I do, other than getting stacked off? Hey, I think we have a new plan for my meetup game. We think we found another new place that uh, is gonna do it. So maybe in May. I'm sorry it's taking so long. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed my wife being my special guest this week. <laughs> and you guys have a great, fantastic, wonderful week. Be blessed, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.